on this windswept archipelago 200 miles off mainland Scotland, fishing can be a lifeline. And the fishermen of the Shetland Islands hope Brexit will boost a once thriving industry. Some 56% of Shetlanders may have voted to remain in the EU referendum, but not the fishermen. When you're in the fishing industry, it's very, very apparent, especially when you go to Brussels, just how much that dream has been corrupted, if you like, by a system that really doesn't care. Shetland has a population of just 22,000, while it still lands more fish than England, Wales and Northern Ireland combined. Fishing has been hit hard by Brussels quotas and competition for jobs from the North Sea oil industry. If we get the, a good deal or a, a good exit from Brexit, we'll have opportunities for young guys to buy up some more boats. The British government says leaving the EU is an opportunity to ensure fair quotas and sustainable stocks. But some still fear Scottish fishermen could once again be sidelined in their own waters. It has been evident from uh, statements that the UK government has made over the past couple of weeks that they are again ready to trade away uh, access, permanent access to the UK's fishing zone, to Spain, to other countries as part of Brexit negotiations. With Theresa May cooking up a great British Brexit and Nicola Sturgeon trying to make Scotland an independent EU member state, it remains to be seen whether Shetland's fishermen will once again be served up to Brussels on a plate.